Hello students. Today we'll see stack and stack pointer. Stack is we have already seen the stack in program memory. The region is allocated in program memory. But the stack is not part of program memory as well as data memory. The microcontroller stack has only been used as a storage space for return address of subroutines or interrupt routines. The stack is a read write memory used by the microcontroller to store a data or address temporarily. We can write any data, immediate data or process data for the next execution or temporary we can store a data on a stack we can store address of next instruction after interrupt generation we can store immediate address of instruction where subroutine is get called or interrupt is get called the successive instruction address we can store temporary on stack by using push instruction and we can fetch that address from stack with pop instruction or pull instruction the new pk team core user now have the access to stack and can modify the stack pointer and stack data directly the user have the access to stack and can modify the stack pointer and stack data directly because the register which are associated with the stack pointer and stacks are given in sfr tables so we can configure it reconfigure it modify it uh, according to the requirement the top of the stack is readable or writable ability to push the values onto the stack and the pull the values of the stack without disturbing the norm normal program execution. We can without disturbing whatever the program is going on without disturbing we can directly push the data on the stack or we can extract the data from the stack uh, without disturbing the main program. The first location will find the first location. Actually, we are having 32 stacks. Stack 0 to stack 31. But stack 0 level is not given because the address is start from the 00, which means there is a 31 usable location in the stack. When you power on the a microcontroller the stack pointer will start from stack level 1 the four registers are provided with the special function registers then tosr top of a stack low bytes it is 0 to 7 tosh top of the stack high bytes it is 8 to 15 tosu is top of a stack upper bytes it is 16 to 20. TOSL holds 8 bit. TOSH hold 8 bits. TOSU holds 5 bits because our program memory is 21. So the tw total 21 will be hold in partly 8, 8 bits in TOSL, 8 bits in TOSH and remaining 5 bits in TOSU. STKPTR is stack pointer. The stack pointer register configuration is given in your SFRs. This from bit 0 to bit 4 is SP0, SP1, SP2, SP3, SP4. It denotes your stack pointer. It is assigned for the stack pointer. It is 5 bits. U-0 is not used. Then 
stack underflow flags if it is 1 then underflow underflow occurs if it is 0 then underflow is not occur the stack unf means stack underflow if this bit one this bit is 1 then it shows underflow occurs if it is 0 then underflow is not occur stack full this is for a stack full if it is 1 then stack becomes full or observe flooded if it is 0 then stack has not become a full the something space is there you can upload it or you can push the data the pointer is only 5 bits wide which accounts for stack depth of 32 bits words what is mean by it here in stack pointer register the 5 bits are assigned for the selection of your stack 2 raised to 5 is 32 words means 2 bytes or 16 bits data we know our program memory is of 21 bits it is more than 16 that means it is words so it's called as a 32 words from 0 to 31 i said 0th level is not used so we are having stack level 1 to stack level 31 here i said in earlier that the upper sorry lower 8 bits are stored in top of the stack lower bytes this is your stack some data is already written on it as earlier said it is operate on lifo last in first out this data is last in so this data is going to out first so 32 will be stored in tosl is top of the stack lower bytes so lower 8 bit is stored into tosl then a1a it will going to store into the tosh top of the stack high bytes and upper 5 bits are stored into the tosu is top of the stack upper bytes with using pop instruction and push instruction from push instruction the data is going to the push onto the stack and from pop instruction we can extract the data from your stack these are the stack pointers stack pointers we have to use the stack pointers it is incremented by push it is decremented by pop when the data is get push on the stack the stack pointer is incremented automatically by one if you want to fetch the data you want to extract the data from the stack or you want to pop out the data from the stack the stack pointer will pop out the that data or address and it decrement by one and will stand on the next location of stack here is a given one program which call which use subroutines toggle port b so define port as a output port my register equ 0 cross 0 a given one variable with name my register whose memory location is 0 a so whatever the data or comes in the my register variable will going to store into the memory location 0 it or the 0 from anywhere from the memory the program will start from the org 00 org 00 means what you have to write the data or uh, data from the address 0 then back is given as a label mo lw0 cross 55 means mo the literal value to wreg register move wf means wr is a register will move to the port then it call for call delay when i call a delay it will jumps to delay label execution where the 55 
255 will get added to the uh, is get added to the WRG register. Then it goes to the my register whose location is 08. Then no operation, no operation. It is no operation, no operation is included for the to increase the time delay. Then decrement my my register. My register is having 255. 256 now it is 255 by decrement instruction bnz again means branch if not equal to zero on again so this execution is continued then it will comes to the return it return and goes back to next instruction so meanwhile what happened when i call a delay that time on stack pointer stack pointer will load the address of next instruction on stack when i return back that time it will move the address of that next instruction that is 08 and again starts executing here once again i call a delay that time what happened when i as i call the call uh, delay it starts the execution this whole but the meanwhile the stack pointer will hold the address of next instruction which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 on the stack pointer and it starts to execution of, from the delay and it counts from 256 to 0 when i call the return it will goes to it goes back and the stack pointer the address of next instruction will goes goes to the execution so this process is for stack execution thank you student